welcome to another video by uh, Jim the Car Guy. Um, today we're going to be working on a 2006. It's an F350 Super Duty with a, a 5.4 liter engine. Uh, a couple of basic maintenance items we're going to be doing. We're going to be changing the fan belt. Uh, we're going to change the idler pulley. And we're going to change the uh, tensioner. So uh, let me just show you uh, how to go about doing that. And you're probably, a lot of you are thinking that, wow, this guy's working on this truck an awful lot. This is actually one of my commercial accounts. They have a lot of trucks and they're all very similar. So um, it's not the same vehicle. Um, all right, just um, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget that. And if you like my videos, uh, give me the thumbs up. So let's get in there and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do. All right, basically what we're going to do is we're going to come down inside here. This is your... Your tension. I know it's going to be a little difficult or a little dark to see down there, but I'll do the best I can. This is your tensioner right down in here. And what we need to do is put a, a ratchet right in the end right here so we can uh, release the tension on it. And we're going to take the fan belt off. Um, we're going to be removing the idler pulley, which is right here, uh, which is right here. We're going to take that bolt out. Looks like it's probably about a 13 millimeter. We're going to remove that and we're going to replace it because when the, when the truck is running, you can hear a little bit of a chirping noise coming out of it. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to come down and we're going to take off the tensioner. And the tensioner is pretty much held on by just three 10 millimeter bolts. We take these three 10 millimeter bolts out and we remove the tensioner. So uh, let's grab some tools and then we're going to get started. And obviously to make it a little bit easier, we're going to remove this so we can get in there and work a little bit. The way you remove this is there's a small little 10 millimeter bolt right here. We're going to take that bolt out and we're going to remove this out of here so we can have a little more room to work. So uh, let me grab some tools and uh, let's get started. Before you do anything, make sure that you have the schematic for how the fan belt goes on there. And uh, that way you're not going to have a problem when you try to put it back together. All right, if you don't have it, make sure you write it down so you can put the belt on the correct way. All right, let's grab some tools and uh, let's get started. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to... That heat will turn off in a minute too, so it'll be a little quiet. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off that uh, that snorkel here, so we can gain a little bit of back, a little bit of room down here to get to the fan belt. It's only a 10 millimeter bolt, so you can just take that out. A lot of you people see these, uh, a lot of you guys see these, uh, this ratchet that I always use. It's one of my favorite tools because it has a little bit of a flexible head on it. You'll see me use this 90% of the time probably. this off to the side for now. I know it sounded like it broke, but it actually it didn't. It actually fits right in here pretty tightly. So, uh, all right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to release the tension on that belt. And the way you do that is with your half inch ratchet. You just go into the uh, slot down there so you can release the tension on it. Push it down, just take the fan belt off and then you can let it back up and then you can just remove your, uh, your fan belt.
take out the uh, idler pulley. Fairly easy to. Take that bolt. Don't lose this bolt because you're going to need it to put that tension, the uh, idle pulley back on, and then take it off. And just need to take that to the side for now. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take out those uh, 10 millimeter bolts that hold the um, that hold the tensioner to the car itself or truck, I should say. Once you break them loose, then you can just take them out by hand. Don't lose these bolts, you're going to need to reuse these again also. Get it out of there. And you can hear that noise. That's the barrier. You can actually feel it inside the tensioner itself on the spinner. You can feel the, the bearing is actually bad. So uh, now some guys change just the uh, just the, the pulley, but if you're taking it off, you may as well change the entire assembly. It doesn't not cost efficient. So well, let's grab the new one and let's put this job back together. All right, now that we have a replacement cross, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the, uh, the tensioner on first before we do anything else. So we're just gonna catch all the bolts in there first. And remember the way you took it out, because that's the way you're gonna be putting it back in. It's a little dark down there. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, that's what it looks like down here. You just screw everything in by hand first. Get all of them caught first before you go any further. Obviously, if you have an air ratchet, you can shoot in with an air ratchet, but if not, this is how you're going to do it. And you can just snug them in. You don't want to tighten it too tight. 
if you're screwing into aluminum, tighten all of them up evenly. Previously took off right here. You just push it on, and then you can grab your bolt that you previously took out. Tighten up that, that bolt all the way. Again, you're screwing it into aluminum, so don't over tighten it. You don't want to strip it out. Okay, next thing we're going to do now is we have our tensioner on, we have our idler pulley on, we're going to grab the fan belt and we're going to put the belt back in there. So uh, let me grab that belt. But what I want to point out is that uh, down in here, the belt has to come through this area right up inside here. So follow your schematic and put the belt back on. And the last thing we're going to put back on is going to be up on top here. So let's grab the belt and uh, let's get started. The last piece we're going to be putting on is going to be on the top uh, by the uh, new alternator. And now we have to just push on the uh, belt tensioner so we can uh, switch, put that belt on. When it's finished, just make sure that your, your belt is on the pulley correctly here. Make sure it's on your tensioner down here, your idler pulley. Make sure it's around your, your air conditioner compressor down there in the grooves. Your power steering down over there. And that's it. We're pretty much all set to, uh, to go. All right, uh, next thing we're going to do, we're going to just reinstall that snorkel up in here. And then we're going to start it up. Let's, uh, let's grab that snorkel and put it back together. That's it. We're all set. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go inside and start it up. Make sure that the belt is on correctly. And that's it. We're all done. All right, thanks for watching. You need any information, drop me a line. Be more than happy to talk to you about anything. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.